Inflation is here and it may get worse, according to Peter Schiff. Yes, of course, uh, today inflation is known as quantitative easing. That is the new euphemism uh, by which the government describes the process of creating inflation. But that's what happens as Federal Reserve creates money out of thin air and uses it to buy U.S. Treasuries. And monetizing that debt debases the currency. And that is what is keeping this economy going right now is inflation. And of course, the inflation causes prices to rise. That's why gasoline is so expensive. That's why food is so expensive. Of course, the government lies about inflation when it reports it in the CPI because the CPI is deliberately designed to understate and mask the inflation that the Federal Reserve is creating. And now the government actually is trying to tell us that the CPI is overstating inflation and they want to fix it again. They're trying to hide from us the inflation that they're creating. But eventually, people are going to be overwhelmed. The prices are going to be rising so rapidly that the government is not going to be able to lie anymore and pretend that there's no inflation. Is this similar to the 1970s inflation or is this much different? I think it's going to be much worse. I think it's already probably similar. In fact, if we reported inflation today using the same CPI that they had in the 1970s, you would see that the rate of inflation is a lot closer to 10 percent than than 2 percent. But I think it could get much worse than that. And the real risk is that it becomes hyperinflation. You know, Weimar Republic style, Argentina or Zimbabwe style, if we don't stop the presses. But in order to do that, and if the Fed is going to let interest rates rise where they need to go to put an end to it, then we're going to have a real financial crisis. Because then you're going to have all the banks that we bailed out, they're all going to fail again. And this time there's no bailout and the government, the federal government, is going to have to default on its debts and restructure just like Greece because if interest rates go up, the U.S. government can't afford to make the interest payments on the debt, let alone retire the principal if our creditors want their money back. So, Peter, how can investors protect their wealth? Well, get it out of the dollar. You know, don't own bonds. I mean, I don't know when the bubble bursts, but when it does, you don't want to be long bonds. And in fact, you know, bonds are just future payments of dollars. So there's, there's two reasons not to own bonds. One, they're in a bubble, and two, they're denominated in dollars. So you want to get out. If you, you want to be in bonds, look at Australia, look at New Zealand, look at Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, Norway. I prefer real money. Look at gold and silver. I think some of the mining companies are ridiculously cheap right now that you know, own a lot of gold and silver in the ground and, and look at a lot of equities around the world that can be a good inflation hedge, particularly in a lot of the emerging market economies in Southeast Asia, the countries that have been doing all the heavy lifting, that have been doing all the savings, all the investment, all the production, the countries that are accumulating these vast surpluses, these are the countries that are doing it right. And you want to invest in those economies and in those companies because they're going to be able to profit from the emergence of the global middle class. And I think the best thing that's going to happen to the global economy is a collapse of the U.S. economy where the global economy just allows it to happen. What really puts pressure on the world is having to prop up the U.S. economy. But when they no longer make that mistake and allow the dollar to sink and they invest their resources in their own economies, right? if they invest productively instead of just wasting their surpluses in the U.S. Treasury market, I think you're going to see a boom in the global economy. And there is a lot of way for investors to profit from that if they get in front of it. And your latest book, by the way, has an ominous title real quickly, The Real Crash, America's Coming Bankruptcy. Right, how to save yourself and your country. And in fact, America is already bankrupt. It's just that most people haven't figured it out yet. But by the time they do, it's too late to protect yourself. Okay, thank you, Peter, I think. Sure. Thanks for your time. And you are watching the moneyshow.com video network.